Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Monday, December 2nd. You'll be interested to know, 201 years ago, today in 1823, the Monroe Doctrine, articulated by President James Monroe, established that the United States would refrain from interfering in European affairs while asserting that the entire Western Hemisphere was within its sphere of interest, significantly shaping American foreign policy for years to come. So now you know. And now, it's time for the weather report. This morning, it's sunny and feels like 17 degrees with 7 mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 412, and it will rise again tomorrow at 656. It looks like we're in for a sunny Monday with a high near 38 and a light west breeze. Tonight, expect mostly clear skies with a low around 24 and gentle winds. For all you beach runners out there, the first high tide Monday will be at 1130 with a low tide at 6. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 49 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, expect mostly sunny skies on Tuesday with a high near 38 and light northwest winds. Tuesday night will be mostly clear with a low around 22. Wednesday starts sunny with a high near 40 and a slight chance of rain later. Wednesday night brings a chance of rain and snow with a low around 32. Thursday is likely to be rainy, mostly cloudy, with a high near 42. Thursday night will be mostly clear with a low around 25. Friday will be sunny with a high near 35, and Friday night will be mostly clear with a low around 18. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, Buzunish Diba, who won the 2014 Boston Marathon after being elevated from runner-up, is finally receiving her owed prize money of $100,000. This decision comes after Boston Athletic Association officials announced a new policy to reward athletes adversely affected by doping violations. Diba originally finished second behind Kenya's Rita Jeptu who was later disqualified for doping. The Boston Athletic Association is now offering voluntary payments to about 80 runners affected from events between 2003 and 2016. Diva's husband expressed their joy upon hearing the news, noting that the family is grateful for the support they have received. Now on to sports. On Sunday night football in a snowy orchard park, the Buffalo Bills, now 10-2, beat the San Francisco 49ers, who fell to 5-7, with a 35-10 victory. Josh Allen was a triple threat, scoring a passing, rushing, and receiving touchdown. The Bills clinched their fifth consecutive AFC East title, while the Niners struggled, losing Christian McCaffrey to injury and committing three fumbles. On Monday Night Football, the Denver Broncos, at seven and five, host the Cleveland Browns, who are three and eight. Jerry Judy's much anticipated return to Denver adds extra drama as he faces off against childhood friend Patrick Sertain. Bo Nix, riding high with three consecutive NFL Rookie of the Week honors, aims to keep Denver's playoff hopes alive. The Broncos are favored by four with an over-under set at 46. In local sports, 
Last night, the Celtics fell to the Cavs 115 to 111 at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Donovan Mitchell led Cleveland with 35 points, including 20 in the fourth quarter. Jason Tatum had 33 points and nine rebounds. The Seas now stand at 16 and five, while the Cavaliers improve to 18 and three. Tonight, the Celtics host the Miami Heat, who are nine and nine. Yesterday, the Bruins dominated the Montreal Canadiens six to three at the Garden. Charlie McAvoy and Charlie Coyle each netted two crucial goals. David Pasternak also scored, fueling the celebration of the Bruins' 100th anniversary. Boston's record now stands at 12-11-3. Tomorrow, the Bees host the Red Wings at the Garden. On Sunday, the Pats fell to the Indianapolis Colts in a heartbreaking 25-24 loss at Foxborough. Drake May threw for 238 yards, but Joey Sly's record-breaking 68-yard field goal attempt fell short. The Pats rushed for a season-high 200 yards, but missed red zone opportunities proved costly. On Saturday, the Eagles soared at Alumni Stadium, defeating Pittsburgh 34-23. Ty Clements' electrifying 55-yard pick six ignited the crowd while Grayson James threw for 253 yards and two touchdowns. Boston College is now seven and five. In top news, weather apps can be frustratingly inaccurate, often leaving users caught in unexpected rain. Despite advances in technology, such as high resolution satellite imagery, these applications struggle with precise forecasts. A study from the University of Arizona revealed that enhancing forecast accuracy by 50% could save 2,200 lives annually in the United States. While a seven-day forecast can be accurate 80% of the time, predicting extreme weather remains challenging. To improve your forecast experience, consult multiple apps, consider your specific location, and rely on professional meteorologists for the most dependable information. In business news, Elon Musk has called for the abolishment of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, a federal agency established to protect consumers from predatory financial practices after the 2008 financial crisis. Musk's remarks on social media have sparked alarm in the financial sector due to his anticipated role in a new Government Efficiency Advisory Commission. Critics, including experts, argue that eliminating the agency could lead to a financial crisis. The agency's funding structure and past legal rulings make its removal difficult, with consumer advocates warning that its absence could enable deceptive practices within the financial industry. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $96,800. Ethereum is just under $3,700. And Goatsy's Maximus is nearing 71 cents. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates, with several locations in the Boston area, Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Flash floods are increasingly impacting desert regions historically known for their dryness. In early September 2024, unusual rain fell across the Sahara, creating temporary lakes in areas usually barren. Erechidia, a city in Morocco, recorded nearly 7.6 centimeters of rainfall in just two days 
while nearby Tagune saw 9.9 centimeters in 24 hours. Unfortunately, these floods resulted in the tragic loss of at least 18 lives. Experts warn that as climate change progresses, extreme weather events like these could become more frequent, necessitating urgent infrastructure improvements and disaster preparedness in vulnerable communities. And in entertainment news, this Thanksgiving, a trio of blockbusters, Mona 2, Wicked and Gladiator 2 helped achieve a record-breaking domestic box office haul of $420 million, surpassing the previous high of $315 million. Mona 2 dominated with $135 million over the weekend, while Wicked grossed $80 million, and Gladiator I2I brought in $30 million. Together, these films accounted for 75% of all ticket sales, signaling a potential recovery for the industry as Hollywood gears up for a more challenging December filled with fewer major releases. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American author and activist, Helen Keller. And she said, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.